Prepare to be amazed as we dive into the latest developments in the world of electric vehicles. Tesla's revolutionary semi-truck has not just taken the lead, but left its electric competitors trailing behind. Across the globe, in China, exciting preparations are in progress to revolutionize the roads for autonomous vehicles. Yet, the true shining star of this episode is none other than Tesla embarking on an ambitious journey to recruit a pre-production manager for their groundbreaking Teslabot project. Welcome to Tesla Global, the home of Tesla news from around the world. Subscribe for more content. Let's get into the video. The Tesla Semi has emerged triumphant from an extensive real-world testing phase during the electrifying run on less event. The results showcase the truck's capability in a manner that surpasses any promotional campaign. The run on less event, organized by the North American Council for Freight Efficiency, has been nothing short of a revelation in the world of electric class 8 transport trucks. It's a challenge that aims to gather valuable data about the current efficiency of these electric giants and pit them against their more traditional diesel-powered counterparts. PepsiCo, a major player in the trucking industry, boldly entered three of their brand new Tesla semis from their California fleet into this high-stakes competition. Over the past couple of weeks, the world has been treated to tantalizing snapshots of this epic showdown. Even in these early glimpses, the results have been nothing short of astonishing, leaving industry experts in awe. And now that the event has concluded, the full extent of the performance is simply staggering. During the most grueling day of the competition, a PepsiCo Tesla Semi set out with a full charge and covered a whopping 100.76 miles. This impressive feat was accomplished with only three brief 750 kW fast charging sessions. The first and last of these sessions were incredibly short, raising the Semi's charge to 47% and 52% respectively. However, the midday charge, which conveniently coincided with the driver's half-hour break, boosted the vehicle's charge to a remarkable 89% of its total capacity. The run on less competition has unquestionably highlighted the immense potential of the Tesla semi-truck, demonstrating its ability not only to keep pace with traditional diesel trucks, but also to outperform them, all the while significantly lowering fuel costs. This extraordinary performance serves as a powerful testament to the viability of electric transport in the freight industry. As California's government positions itself to gradually eliminate the sale of internal combustion engine trucks by the year 2036, it becomes evident that the future of freight transportation is unequivocally leaning towards electric solutions. This shift not only promises environmental benefits, but also opens new horizons for efficiency and sustainability in the transportation sector. The run on less competition has wrapped up just in the nick of time. PepsiCo had already declared their intention to replace their entire delivery fleet with Tesla semis. But after the astounding performance showcased at this event, Tesla is now faced with the formidable task of meeting a surging demand for their electric trucks. With the focus turning towards the ever-evolving realm of electric vehicles, China is making significant strides in preparing its road infrastructure for the era of self-driving cars. These ambitious initiatives in China hold the potential to be a game-changer for Tesla's full self-driving FSD system as it strives to establish a foothold in the country. The groundwork laid by Chinese authorities in paving the way for self-driving vehicles is poised to be a pivotal factor in determining the success and adoption of Tesla's cutting-edge FSD technology within the nation. The efforts and developments unfolding in China represent a crucial step toward reshaping the future of transportation, making it more autonomous, efficient and safer than ever before.
Tesla has been diligently preparing for the potential launch of its FSD beta in China, establishing a dedicated operations team to interface with local government authorities, a crucial element in the regulatory process. Currently, Chinese driving laws lack provisions for autonomous vehicles, so the future of Tesla's FSD program in China hinges on the prompt update of these regulations. If you got this far into the video, leave a comment, and why not subscribe for more Tesla-related news and content? Back to the news. The good news is that Chinese authorities are not averse to self-driving vehicles. In fact, they have been actively testing an entire infrastructure system tailored for autonomous driving. In the Jiangxi province, the government of Suzhou embarked on an ambitious project to upgrade a local stretch of road into a smart expressway. This 56-kilometre stretch now serves as a real-world laboratory equipped with over 270 sets of laser and millimetre-wave radars, cameras and antennas dedicated to collecting vital data. The establishment of this experimental site signifies a monumental stride forward in the advancement of self-driving vehicles. It provides a tantalizing glimpse into a future where such innovative solutions may be adopted on a nationwide scale, reshaping the landscape of transportation. This pioneering initiative addresses one of the most substantial challenges that autonomous vehicles face on North American roads and holds the promise of making these cutting-edge technologies more accessible and widespread than ever before. In the quest to facilitate seamless integration of self-driving vehicles with the existing road infrastructure, a significant challenge arises from the unpredictable behavior of pedestrians and human-driven vehicles. People often act in erratic ways that automated systems find challenging to anticipate, making dedicated roadways an appealing solution. The current expressway, however, is designated for Level 4 autonomous driving vehicles. While Tesla's full self-driving FSD is currently considered at Level 2, it's worth noting that only a handful of companies are actively testing Level 4 systems, and that too in low-speed environments. However, the expressway in China demands capabilities such as lane changes, ramp entry, and overtaking which are already well within the capabilities of Tesla's FSD. Therefore, with some adjustments, China may potentially relax its requirements for utilizing this smart expressway. The dedicated roadway presents a highly promising solution to achieving a harmonious coexistence between self-driving and traditional vehicles. This specialized infrastructure offers a safer alternative, ensuring a smoother integration of autonomous and human-driven vehicles on the road. However, it's essential to note that this approach might come with a higher initial cost due to the creation of infrastructure exclusively tailored for autonomous vehicles. Nonetheless, this level of commitment and investment underscores a substantial leap forward in the evolution of self-driving technology. It signifies a dedication to pushing the boundaries of innovation and creating an environment where self-driving vehicles can operate efficiently, safely, and seamlessly alongside conventional traffic, ultimately paving the way for a transformative future in transportation. Thank you for watching Tesla Global. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, then why not subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload?